Hi everyone, this is Quibus, and in this video we will look at some of the practical tips of applying different rates to your tasks in MS Project and also how to use the cost rate tables. Now you might ask why would we want to use different rates or why would you need it? Well there's a few reasons for this. Sometimes you've got a supplier who has got special pricing or different prices that applies in different time frames or the most important reason is that once you do a tender estimate with your MS project, you will obviously use the cost of your resources, but you don't always want to show this cost to your employer or to the other parties uh, in the project. So you would like to add your profit to that, which will then have a, a gross rate, including profit or even a selling rate that includes profit and perhaps VAT or something on that rate. You don't want to show them your cost or your profit. You just want to show them the tendered prices, which will obviously include your profit already. Now, a lot of the estimating software can do this. MS Project definitely can do it as well if you know how. And I'm going to show you in this video. First step, let's go to our resource sheet. So I've set up a resource sheet with some resources. And if you open up if you double click on a resource it'll open up your resource information dialog for you and then click on the cost tab which will indicate to you the the standard rate any overtime rates and then if you have a per use cost which we don't have at this point and then you'll see just next to the well at the top there you've got an a rate a b rate c d e so this might be for different circumstances or a surge pricing or special discount rates that might apply on specific projects. So you might want to set up an ABCD uh, rate for this particular item depending on the project or depending on the type of circumstances. And you don't want to, and when you have the option to, to price or do your estimate, you might want to apply the B rate on this particular project or the C rate. So if you click on the B rate there, I've added in at this point, a rate with profit so i just want to do an example for you so so a rate here will be my cost so this trb this piece of equipment is costing me 340 rand per hour but i'm going to sell it for 360 so that's the profit on top of that that's my b rate okay and then click on okay and i'll do the same now for each and every item so i'll go and add in my b rate that includes profit or whatever and i will save it for each and every item you add a b rate for that now you'll see it's not always possible to apply the different cost rate uh, table items in any view so for instance i've opened up the field over here the cost rate table but you won't be able to input any values in that particular cell so you have to go to the task usage or resource usage views so if i go to the task usage view over here you can open up the cost rate table field so i've inserted that cost rate table field and now you'll see it gives me the option of either having an a or b or c type uh, rate so let's say on this particular project um, i've got there's my trb so I'll, i'm not going to use the a rate here. i'm going to use the b rate then you simply use a drop down and see what happens if i select that it changes my cost rate well, the cost based on the rate now to the B rate. So it takes the amount of hours multiplied by the cost per hour. The same goes for something like the pipe material. Let's find laying of the pipe. So there's the pipe material. That's 200 meters of pipe. Um, there you can see 200 meters of pipe. And if I use my B rate, it'll obviously calculate it differently based on that B rate in my cost rate table. So what I'll share with you now is a, is a technique that you can use in a construction company. If you maybe want to have a different cost that applies to a B rate and you just want to have a quick way of establishing that cost plus, let's say, profit. So let's in this case assume that all the B rates that I added now in my resource sheet are the cost plus a profit percentage that I've, that I've added. So what I'll do here is you can right click and go to custom fields 
Then I want to go to the cost field. I want to create my own cost. So that cost number one is a, is a default field that you can uh, a user managed field. So I'll rename that and let's call this gross uh, cost. In other words, it now includes my profit margin. And another thing important here is just do the calculation. I've said roll up sum. So it's going to sum everything below, which is the correct way. And then I click on OK. And now let's insert that column. And let's apply the B rate now to all the items. So in the cost rate tab, I'm going to apply the B rate. Use the drop down to just copy this down. And now you'll see everything has changed to the B rate now. So my cost is now 2.9 million. So the actual cost, my allowable cost was 2.5. If I add my B rates, which is now everything with profit, then it, go, it goes to 2.9. Then what I'll do is I'll simply select this, all the values in this column, in this field. I'll copy them. And I'll paste them in my created field over here. And then I'll simply change my cost rate table back to A now. So what this does is simply gives you a, a way to quickly display both of your, your A and B rate, uh, you know, in, in columns. That's all I did. But from here on forward, you can... You have a lot of versatility in terms of what you want to display to your client. So if you only want to use the B rates, so you don't want to show them the cost, you can simply again select the B rates for everything and work on that. Once you baseline that, the B rates will also apply in terms of actual cost versus baseline cost versus or give you the variance as well. So there you go in terms of cost rate tables. Now you know what they do and also how to practically apply uh, the principles of it in your own business and when you do tenders i think it's one of those tools that very few contractors actually use or know about and i've seen contractors actually have all these rates filled in depending on the type of project that they're going to look at so already they made provision for specific due technical uh, difficulties or they know the engineer is a difficult person so they have got a c rate specifically for that engineer that allows a bit of risk or whatever so it's a good way for you to quickly change it and uh, not to give away your your costs have some different rates in there right hope you guys enjoyed this video please subscribe and i'll see you guys later